let us consider a thin wire of infinite length that is the length of the wire extending to both the ends let dx be a small section of the wire let's take this section dx which is at a distance of x units from the point let's say the point o now let us take a point p which is at a distance of which is at a distance of y units from the point o also the length op is perpendicular to the length of the wire and let us join this point p and the section dx let lambda be the lambda lambda be the linear charge density of the wire linear charge density suppose dq be the amount of charge accumulated in the section dx then we have lambda equal to we have lambda equal to charge divided by length dl dq by dx implies the charge accumulated in the section dx will be dq equal to lambda dx let's call that as equation number one now this charge produces an electric field at the point p and its direction will be radially outward like this let's take that as dp and let us assume this angle b theta and if you draw perpendicular axis in here x and y axis this is y axis this is x axis now if this angle is theta this angle also will be theta and you can resolve this de into a component along the horizontal that will be de sine theta and one along the y direction that will be de cos theta clear similarly if you take a section dx in here also which is at the same distance of x units from the point o this is dx let me join this this dx also produces an electric field at the point p radially outward in this direction Again, if this angle is theta, this angle is also theta, since the distances remains the same, that makes this angle theta. And this, if this also is dp, because the distance, this length is equal to this length. And you can resolve the de into one along the horizontal, that is de sine theta and that one along vertical direction de cos theta clearly you can see that this de sin theta and this de sin theta are equal and opposite so they will cancel that is all the sections on the right side of the all the uh, components of the electric field along the x direction produced by uh, the sections on the right side of o will be cancelled by the sections on the left side of O. So this DE sine theta will not contribute to the electric field. So the net electric field E will be due to DE cos theta. You can see that they will both both the sections produces the electric field in the same direction. That is in the upward upward direction. So that will add up. So in order to get the total electric field, you must integrate. We can put the limit of integration later, but just now write simply integral dE cos theta for now. Okay. Now we have to find the expression for dE. You know electric field is always 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0, the charge Q divided by distance squared. Okay, so electric field E is equal to integral 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0, charge will be, you know, dq 
let's write dq divided by the distance is equal to let's name this point a distance equal to a p square times cos theta that is e equal to integral 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 let let's put the limit later dq equal to lambda dx divided by ap you know ap square will be ap square means x square plus y square that is b square plus altitude square x square plus y square cos theta now you can see that the in variable of integration is x and the x varies from if if you go to the left x will be minus infinity on the right it will be x equal to plus infinity so the limit of integration is minus infinity to plus infinity clear now you can take all the constants outside that is e is equal to e equal to this lambda by 4 pi epsilon 0 is constant lambda by 4 pi epsilon 0 integral minus infinity to infinity dx by x square plus y square cos theta now if you look at the value of theta, if you take the tan of theta tan theta will be you know tan theta equal to opposite side x divided by y opposite by adjacent which will give x is equal to y tan theta clear so let me erase this and if you differentiate this equation you have dx will be dx is equal to this y is constant the, this distance always remains constant y into derivative of tan theta equal to six per theta then you have to put a d theta clear and you also have to change the limit okay that is before that let me write e equal to lambda by 4 pi epsilon 0 this limit can be changed this is equal to 2 times integral 0 to infinity you know integral minus a to a is same as 2 times integral 0 to a I am using the same concept in here let me erase this so this is equal to 2 times 0 to infinity instead of dx you can put I uh, will erase this you can put dx equal to y c square theta t theta then cos theta divided by divided by x is equal to you know x is equal to y tan theta I just erased that but x equal to y tan theta y tan theta whole square plus y square okay now since the variable changed from x to theta you also have to change the limit you know x is equal to y tan theta let me write here x is equal to x is equal to y tan theta if x is equal to 0 if x equal to 0 then y y tan theta equal to 0 which means tan theta equal to 0 implies theta equal to 0 tan of 0 is 0 so this e equal to 2 lambda by 4 pi epsilon 0 integral this is equal to 0 now what happens if x is equal to infinity which means y tan theta equal to infinity that will give tan theta equal to infinity at 90 theta equal to 90 the value of tan is infinity so the limit changes to 0 to pi by 2 this can be written as 
y c square theta cos theta divided by this is equal to y square tan square theta plus y square clear now you can simplify this this will be e is equal to you can cancel one of the twos lambda by 2 pi epsilon 0 0 to pi by 2 y c square theta cos theta d theta there will be a d theta in here divided by y square you can take the y square outside tan square theta plus 1 but you know this c is equal to 6 square theta 6 square theta is equal to tan square theta plus 1 so that you can cancel this 6 square theta and this tan square theta plus 1 you can also cancel one of the y's therefore the final value will be e equal to this y you can take up, take it out lambda by 2 pi epsilon 0 y integral 0 to pi by 2 cos theta d theta so e is equal to lambda by 2 pi epsilon 0 y integral of cos theta is sin theta lower limit is 0 upper limit is pi by 2 so this is equal to e equal to lambda by 2 pi epsilon 0 y sin of pi by 2 minus sin 0 sin 0 this is equal to 1 1 minus 0 so e is equal to lambda by 2 pi epsilon 0 y. So, this is the expression for electric field due to a thin wire of infinite length at a distance y units from the length of the wire. Clear.